Wenn du dieses Video schaust, bin ich schon in Neuseeland. Hallo alle zusammen! When you are watching this video, I am already in New Zealand. Ich werde für drei Wochen in Neuseeland sein. I will be in New Zealand for three weeks. Und ich fliege mit drei Freunden. I will fly with three friends together. And this video, which you're watching right now, I already recorded and scheduled before New Zealand. Und jetzt geht's los. Wir sprechen über die Da-Wörter. We talk about the Da-Words. Was sind die Da-Wörter? What are they? So, for example, they are damit, darüber, darauf und so weiter and so on. Some people also call them Da-Compounds. So, Da-Words or Da-Compounds. Okay? So, los geht's. Beispiele, Examples. So we will start with some examples and I hope you see a little pattern there. So watch it and you will maybe already understand how they work. And after I will explain. So, ich suche nach meinem Handy. I am looking for my mobile phone. Ich suche danach. I am looking for it. Das zweite, the second one. Hast du Angst vor... Feuer. The verb is Angst haben vor etwas. To be scared of something. So in English the preposition is of, but in German it's vor. So you have to remember this in order to use the da words. And then you see, ja, ich habe Angst davor. So you just use da and the preposition. Einfach, oder? Easy, isn't it? Was machst du mit deinem Handy? What are you doing with Your phone. Ich mache Fotos damit. So in this one it's pretty easy. Mit means with. It's usually like that. So that's not so hard. Erinnerst du dich an den Urlaub? This sentence now is very important. Try to remember this. Ja, ich erinnere mich daran. We say this all the time. I remember it. So there are two Difficulties here. First, it's reflexive. Ich erinnere mich. Mich, mich, mich. Reflexive. And then, daran. So, this comes from the preposition an. So, in, in English, you don't have a preposition. You just say, do you remember something? In German, there is the preposition an. Erinnerst du dich an? An den Urlaub. Alles klar? So, freust du dich auf? Neuseeland, so sich freuen auf. Again, it's reflexive and you need the preposition auf. And then, ja, ich freue mich darauf. Und der letzte Satz ist ein bisschen anders. The last sentence is a little bit different. Because there is no preposition in the first sentence. So, kennst du schon den Akkusativ und den Dativ? Do you already know the cases, the Dativ and the Akkusativ? Ja, wir haben darüber im Unterricht gesprochen. We talked about that in class, in, in German class, for example. So, here you see, darüber just refers to the accusative and the dative. All right, and uh, it's just very, I also use this one, for example, in my videos. Maybe you notice darüber. Heute sprechen wir darüber. Today we talk about that. It always refers to something which was already in the previous sentence. So, erkennst du vielleicht ein Muster? So, do you maybe see a pattern? Das Muster is the pattern. Wir sprechen jetzt darüber. Erklärung, explanation. Da plus preposition means preposition plus it or that. Ich erkläre euch das. I'll explain to you. Damit, for example, means with it. So, da is the da word. It means it or that. And mit means with. So, you see, in English, it just means the preposition plus it. Damit. Okay? Das nächste. Darüber. Über means about. Das nächste. Auf means on something. So, darauf. 
is on. But you can't always literally translate the prepositions from English to German, for example. It doesn't work like that. This is just an orientation, what they usually mean. They mean the meaning of the preposition plus it. All right? So, but, aber, eine wichtige Regel, an important rule. Da words only replace objects, but not people and not most animals. So, for example, this sentence. Ich spiele mit meinem Bruder. I play with my brother. You can say, ich spiele damit. Nein, 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 nein. <laughs> Because it only replaces objects. And your brother is not an object, I think. So, that sounds very strange if you say that. Yeah, das klingt wirklich... Uh, nicht gut, nicht, nicht, nicht. Okay, so, and now another thing. You notice that some of the da words have an R and some others don't have an R in between the da and the preposition. So, and usually you can see here prepositions starting with consonants. They don't have an R. So, B, F, N and so on. You see here, da, bei. Da is the da word, bei is the preposition. Da, nach. Nach is the preposition. So no R. There is no R. The second one with R. Preposition starting with vowels. So you have the normal vowels and the umlaute also. So A, O, I and so on. And now you see there is an R in between. Daran. An is the preposition. Darin. In is the preposition. Darauf. Auf is the preposition. And they all start with vowel. Einfach, oder? Easy, isn't it? Oh, jetzt die Hausaufgabe. Ja! So, ich fange jetzt mit der Deutsch-Hausaufgabe an. I am starting now with the German homework. Aren't you? Ich fange an. So, what is the preposition in the first sentence? Now you put da in the preposition. Einfach. Easy. Wir ärgern uns über das Wetter. It's like we are annoyed about the weather. Wir ärgern uns. Und Nummer drei. Erinnerst du dich an die letzte Deutschstunde? Do you remember the last German class? Ja, ich. This is the sentence where I told you that it's very important. So here you have to insert also the verb and a little bit more. Eh? Gut, bitte schreibe deine Antworten in die Kommentare. Please write your answers in the comments. If you like this video, press the like button. Und ich wünsche dir noch einen schönen Tag. I wish you a good day. Tschüss!